Hey guys, Aaron here, and uh, I'm back in the land of the living, finally. Uh, jet lag is still pretty nasty. Uh, it's been about three days since we got back, and it's still taking a bit of time to get the body clock adjusted and everything. Uh, I actually start back at work tomorrow, uh, which is going to be uh, a bit of a fun for the first day if the jet lag still hasn't fixed itself by then, but that's okay. Um, but I want to do a very quick video just to let you know how the holiday and the wedding all went and some other really big important personal news I thought I'd update you guys on. And then of course, as you may notice, uh, the channel name has changed, which I'll get onto in a minute. Uh, but I guess first of all, uh, wedding was a huge success. Voila. Uh, I'll put up a couple of photos on uh, the Pixel Talk podcast Discord server and on my Instagram of the wedding rings up close. So if you want to get a good picture of both mine and my wife's wedding rings, uh, you want to check them out. And um, yeah, it was a huge success. We ended up having uh, what was going to look like really crappy weather. And then on the day itself, uh, the sun came out right during the few hours of our wedding, which meant that it was perfect. Um, the ground was a bit wet, but you're going to kind of deal with that with... Um, the area that we end up getting married. So we had a backup planning just in case, but it all went to plan thankfully anyway. Um, so that worked out really, really well in the end. The ceremony was over like a flash and everyone was telling me like, you know, just enjoy it, just enjoy it. You know, the day's going to go by so quickly and before you know it, even your honeymoon's going to be over and you're going to be back in, into the real world and it's going to be like no time has passed at all. And that's 100% true. Uh, in fact, I remember chilling out, having a having a drink the evening uh, after the wedding and after everything, after all the guests had gone and everything, and I just went, so that's it? It's it, it's done? It, wow, that went fast. And it was like your brain goes, okay, so there was months and months and months, and if not years now of actual preparation for this, and it was over within half a day. You know, it was, it was crazy. But it was really well, um, had an awesome time. I've already posted a couple of videos on the channel uh, to do with the first dance and stuff. Uh, we, we are, I am producing and putting together a wedding video, but I don't know if I'm going to host it live on the channel. It might be an exclusive thing uh, for people that I want to share it with. I don't know if I want to have it going public uh, on the channel. I, I'm not sure. I'll just have to see. But um, yeah, anyway, the other really big news uh, I'm going to be a father, which is, uh, I'm really, really excited and also really, really terrified. Um, I don't know if any of you have been, uh, you know, that first time father moment, uh, you know, if you've had that experience before, but it can be a very terrifying and also a very joyous time. Um, we actually did find out and did know a few weeks before we left for the wedding, um, and there was a couple of people we did end up telling and, and mentioning, but we wanted to keep it hush-hush until the actual wedding because we were trying, as much as we tried, to keep it quiet and not tell everyone and actually have the reveal of it, I guess you can say, at the wedding itself. We're bad at keeping secrets, both of us, and we ended up slipping up multiple times and telling people by accident, and then we ended up just telling a few people. Like, we told the important people, like our parents and grandparents and stuff, just so that they didn't have, you know, heart attacks on the day and freak out or anything. But uh, for the majority, like the aunts and uncles and family and friends, like the ex extra stuff, we tried to keep that to as minimum as possible. And so the way that we end up revealing it is uh, in my vows, because, of course, the... Um, uh, groom says his vows before um, the bride does. Uh, I had a line in my vows which was, um, I can't even remember it off the top of my head now. Wow, it's uh, I'm drawing a blank. But basically, it's like I'm not only just a uh, you know uh, a husband to be, but a now father to be. And uh, I had actually ended up getting choked up during the ceremony when I tried to say that line, which is like halfway through my vows. And it took like a few attempts to actually get the rest of my vows out because uh, that line kind of choked me up a little bit. But um, yeah, uh, we don't know where I think as of now we're sitting in between the 13 slash 14 week period at the moment. We don't know the sex uh, of the baby or anything like that just yet. We do know that things are all okay so far, which is good. Um, but um, we'll have, I'll let you guys know in the future when we do find out more information. Um, we don't know names or anything like that yet. We're, we're still very early days, technically. So, um, But we are looking at around about a March sort of um, birthday for the baby. If, if everything goes full term, let's say. So, um, 
Yeah, big news. Uh, and then I guess the other thing I guess you guys might have noticed very recently is when I got back from the honeymoon uh, a couple of days ago, I changed my YouTube channel name from Modsy's Retro Collection to Cutting Edge Retro uh, and updated a couple of the updated the thumbnail and updated the banner on the YouTube channel as well. And I think I also updated my Instagram as well, but it might take a little bit longer to roll over. Um, and there was a big reason for this. Um, when I first created my YouTube channel, it was obviously nothing but a dumping ground for my Formula One uh, league race videos. It was not anything that I would be like, hey, subscribe to share. It was literally, I would just upload my full length races um, and use them just to share among the other people I was racing with so they could see my race uh, from my perspective and we could watch each other races and stuff. And then when I uh, stopped doing the league racing, I wanted to continue doing uh, gaming content on there. And I dabbled with a couple of other games and a couple of other ideas. And then I ended up going into the retro stuff. But uh, because I've been a gamer for most of my life, I, I'm known through a lot of my close friends and stuff as Modsy. They, you know, in, in real life, they, they sometimes call me that instead of my real name. It's kind of like a nickname that's just stuck with me uh, because a lot of my friends are from my gaming days, uh, either online or in real life. So it's kind of stuck with me. And in the end, I was originally going to... Uh, so when I got around to doing the videos for the retro stuff... I originally was just going to do a couple of videos about my video cards and my video card collection. And that's all I was going to do. I wasn't going to do anything else at all other than just, hey, this is my retro collection. And every now and then I was going to do a video based around a couple of bits and pieces that I had. Nothing good, nothing con uh, like nothing... Uh, like like it is at the moment, let's say, or even like some of the other channels like Pixel Pipes and stuff, how it's like regular stuff. That was never on my radar at all to do. But when I created the uh, the name Modsy's Retro Collection and the first couple of videos I did of the collection got a lot more views than what I thought. And, and I'm putting this into pers my perspective. I'm used to having like less than 10 views on some of my videos and suddenly I was having hundreds of views, you know, that's a tenfold, you know, view in, uh, counter increase. And so I was like, oh, okay, this is actually popular. And then I started, you know, meeting more people in the community and I had some feedback on the channel name. And I was like, yeah, look, it, it is a placeholder. I don't like it myself. It was never intended to be anything more than just my own little tiny personal channel, just showing my collection. And that was really it. But personally, I was never really happy with the name since I started to do YouTube stuff. I want to say more seriously, but I mean as in actively doing and sharing a lot more stuff and putting a lot more time and effort and resources into doing the videos uh, and making it a, a, an ongoing thing that I really want to do. Um, I wanted to change the name. And so I've been actually for over 12 months or more now, I've been thinking of trying to come up with new names and... Uh, I was actually, up until a week ago, was going to go with something very different than what I ended up going with. Um, and then I was having a bit of a back and forth with Nathan from Pixel Pipes, and um, he just sort of, you know, spitballed a few different ideas, and I saw one of his ideas and went, oh my god, that's actually genius, I love that name, um, and I ended up sticking with it, and that was Cutting Edge Retro. Uh, it's like that, you know, oxymoron, like, cutting edge but it's retro sort of thing, and, and I kind of thought that fit me perfectly because um, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know why. It's really hard to explain. But anyway, I really love the name. Uh, so I'm going to be doing. Things are a little bit chaotic still at the moment. We've only just got back, so that we've got a lot of plans, especially with um, you know the the pregnancy news on the way. We're making a few extra arrangements around the house and doing some extra things. So I'm a little bit busy at the moment um, till I can get everything back into you know, having some free time, let's say. Uh, so um, basically, yeah, we're going to do, uh, I'm going to have better artwork on the channel, better um, quality of like links and descriptions and all that kind of stuff as well. So it's a little bit more formatted regularly. Um, I'm coming up with a, uh, like a template for some of my videos so that I can actually just uh, do the videos that I want to do, drop them into the uh, Premiere Pro template, edit them, you know, much quickly, but also keep the quality of the videos that I'm doing, you know, at a consistent level rather than suddenly doing, you know, one of them is a handy cam weird one and then I'm going to, I'm still going to do some, it's, it's pretty much still going to be almost the same content, but the quality level is going to be more consistent now that I have a bit more consistent time, let's say. Um, 
Uh, I'm also going trying my best to get a really cool new intro done that uh, fits the new name and the, the, the channel and stuff as well. But um, that's going to take a bit of time because I'm still trying to source and track down where I want to get that done. I've got some ideas about what I want to do. Um, technically, I can probably do it myself, but I just don't have the time to do it. And I like my, my ideas in my head about how I want the intro to be outweigh my skill level, let's say, in After Effects. So... Um, and it's, I'm wanting to do something really cool and funky. So uh, it's definitely not where my skill set lies. So I'm trying to find someone that can do that for me. Um, that's uh, going to be like a short, sweet little little thing that'll be uh, up to date. And I'm also going to do an up to date channel video as well. So it's something that's not from like 2017 that, uh, you know, was me sitting in my kitchen table surrounded by crap. So uh, that'll be coming soon as well. But. Content-wise, uh, I've got a few videos that I'm still bringing back from uh, before the wedding that I'm continually working on. 6 to 800 Ultra SLI video, that's going to be one that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. Uh, I've been over a year trying to plan on wh how I want to do that video, when I want to do it, uh, whether I want to cover just the 6 to 800 Ultra on its own. And I'm actually thinking of doing a couple of videos based around the 6800 Ultra because, of course, there's one on AGP and one on PCI Express. So uh, I'm going to be covering both of them, but in two separate videos. So one of them is going to be based around SLI. The other one's going to be based around the 6800 uh, itself and where it landed in the market and all that kind of stuff. So oh, that's going to be coming in a couple of other uh, cool videos with some slightly newer video cards as well. So something from around like 2008, 2009, 2010, something around that as well. A couple of cards from that era. So anyway... This has been a long enough video. Uh, I've got to get some sleep because the jet lag's killing me. So I'm going to head to bed. And um, yeah, I'm going to catch up with you guys uh, soon. So um, yeah, give me, if you guys want any feedback about the, the channel name or, or any, if you know anyone that does uh, intros and stuff like that for YouTube videos that can do custom, uh, let's say, pixel art slash cartoony based stuff, not uh, live action based stuff, um, hit me up. You can join us in the Discord server. And um, or you want to message me, you can uh, follow me on Instagram as well, which is Cutting Edge Retro, all one word, uh, without the space. It's just all, all one word without the hyphen in the middle. Um, or just comment on the video. I'm going to read that anyway. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will catch you soon. Bye for now.